Wait, what did I just see? <laughs> Something 69 built by Handsomeless King. Also comment a banger map. Okay, we have to check this out. <laughs> I mean, I mean, this is beautiful, and this requires careful thought and engineering. A lot of people have been telling me that uh, 69 is great, so we're gonna check out what all the hype is about. Start the green timer, and let's see how this plays now. So we're starting, I don't even know where, but that might help if I know where I'm starting, and then I also know where I'm driving. I think this is part of the nine, but truly I have no idea. Not quite, not quite the line. Let's go up here, and then I think you drop immediately to this. We will figure that out. Continue on. Ah, snow car. It's almost like we forgot this car existed because it's played so rarely nowadays. People added the rally car, and then the snow car just vanished i really think these cars are more of a novelty like let me know if you play trackmania first of all i know a lot of my viewers don't but if you do uh do you still actively play snow car maps by your own choice like oh wait did i drive wrong or is it this the intended way looks intended yeah do you still play snow car because it feels like it was hyped for a bit just to see how that car worked, and then now it's like, whoa, well, there's this other car that's newer and cooler, and <laughs> we don't need the snow car anymore. This is a weird part. But of course, the mapper might have had to make some uh, sacrifices to get the layout he wanted, and how could we ever question his motives? Yeah, I'm very curious. There's one more Trekmania car that the devs are planning to add, and it's called the Desert Car. We already know what the gameplay looks like, because it's an old Trekmania car. 20-year-old, in fact. And when that one is added, and you have all these three cars plus the Stadium Car, it just feels a little dank. And it still feels like the community is sort of... going back to the... Um, to the stadium car, like that is the community favorite and it might always be. Ah, oh, it's a multi-lap start, now I see, okay. So we beat the map in two minutes 17. Didn't last as long as I thought it would first time, but that's okay. God, these are gonna be terrible jokes. There's probably gonna be terrible jokes in the comments too. How could we not? Can we like use this, use this comment section to just get rid of all our terrible joke energy and then have regular comments in in the other videos on the channel. Sometimes I look at the YouTube comments only to find comments like, wow, it's been a long time since virtual filled me up with such good content. And one of these creepy, like yummy emojis. And I'm like, what? How are you posting this? It is not what the comments are for. The comments are for sharing things like, yeah, you know, my opinion on the snow car as a longtime Trackmania player is XYZ and uh, not cursed unholy comments like that. I say we bring back religion and that would take care of these issues. I'm trying to think in my head if... Because uh, there's only nine checkpoints in over a minute of driving, which isn't a lot really. Uh, there's this entire turnover, but do you really need it? Because there's no checkpoint. So why don't we just go out to the right immediately? I think we do. <laughs> I, I really think we do. I don't see why that would be slower. And then there's this checkpoint. And what follows is this one. And right afterwards, it's this one. The rally car very easily climbs walls. Like, it flies over walls, if I remember. Okay, a couple of ideas to try in my, uh, well, already like third or fourth run here. But it is kind of cool if we're the first person to get this all the time. There's an ongoing project in Trackmania to uh, clear every unbeaten author time that is possible still. A lot of them are unfortunately impossible due to physics changes, block changes, and so on. That uh, mean um, you cannot really beat the author times anymore. But every single one that is unaffected by physics changes. And there's like around 4,000 4, right now. 
Now what I wanted to try. Is it possible to jump just here? Ooh, in, in some way to get like a bug slide or whatever really? Just not getting the rally car. We're only really looking at the timer underneath the big timer. That is the no respawn timer, so it tells me my splits if I had made no mistakes at all. And I want to go out here. Is this faster? Uh, yes. I think I just saved the second. <laughs> Even with hitting the wall, so nice. Could have been due to other things too. But now let's, let's check out, I had one more idea here. Can this car climb? It also has pretty good backwards acceleration though. Two seconds gained, but minus 100 speed? Not sure. It is a bit of a shame to cut such a beautiful map as this one, but guys, if I see if I see and feel the potential for a shortcut, there I I, I feel like I have to do it. I'd love to do this the intended way, but um I can't pass up something like that when I first spot it. Let's try to get a clean run now. Using these ideas. And we only got up to minus six on the no respawn timer. But I had 65 more speed than my PB in the ending. That's where my PB made a lot of mistakes, so. And honestly, it just skips a lot of high-speed rally driving, which I am more than happy to do. The rally car is very difficult. Control. Okay. Yeah, minus one here. Strange looking flight, but it works. Oh. No, <laughs> climb, man. Maybe I need more speed for that. I don't. This would have been beautiful. Oh, wait, so here? I just aim across this. And then... I have to jump all the way on the right side. Like, all the way to this. And my final time would be 131, actually. It's gonna be tough to beat this author time. It looks like the two shortcuts I've found go somewhat equal to clean driving. But if you guys don't know, there is a system on Trackmania Exchange where you can award maps that you think deserve more recognition. And then other users can... Um, can find maps that people enjoy based on how many awards they have. So if you do decide to give this map a shot and you want others to find it or other maps you play, then uh, remember to award the maps. Helps a lot for mappers to get their maps up from the mold and into the spotlight. Perfect shortcut. Perfect shortcut. That's gonna put me, I'd say close to three seconds ahead. Yeah, 3.7 even. And then I mess up this part. It's really just a full send. Okay, focus though. No, how many ways can I get stuck here, man? Oh, this car. I, at some point, hope they can let us, uh, Customize the skins on these new cars Because then I would like to make the rally car into a clown mobile the way it just refuses to behave normally It just 
makes me look like a clown when I drive it. Getting stuck all over the place. Great speed here. Almost too fast. Not sure how to do that part without releasing anymore. Not sure how to do this part either without failing. Almost two seconds on. Really good speed again. Minus three. No. Yes. Okay. Oh, we have a run. Minus seven. I think I lost some speed there. And that is going to be the first author time and world record on something 69. Pretty happy with that. There could still be more and there could also still be better ways of doing this. You know, if you're able to get a very far right angle, you can almost jump past these trees as well. I might want to try that a little bit. Really fun uh, when you find things like this on Trackmania Exchange. People just post whatever they make, you know, and sometimes you just find these gems. I mean, this had been played by eight people now, and it's such an interesting, cool map. Only eight players so far, and no awards at all. So, um, that's, that's the fun of exploring on Trackmania Exchange. 12 more speed. Oh, I stayed in second gear. Yeah. For going that one gear shift is very fast. No. <laughs> okay. You can actually keep second gear on that shortcut. It's just a thing in general in this game. Any time on a slippery surface, if you can stay in a higher gear, it's very often good. Like 99% of the time. On dirt, grass, and plastic. If you can have fourth gear instead of third, second gear instead of first, whatever it might be. Just being one gear higher, if there's like a threshold that you're almost hitting, will very often save time. That's also why Trackmania streamers and players talk so much about gears. It's uh, very hidden time saves when you first begin playing. Because you can have two runs where no way. Oh, I made a small mistake in the ending. Oh, but what a shortcut! I have never been so shocked. I was talking about keeping second gear and then I keep third gear with a tree hit. Oh, you can't really blame me for crashing that though. That was some insane pressure all of a sudden. I thought I missed the setup a bit, you know? But then, boom. <laughs> oh, this game is beautiful and this map is too. You should totally give it a shot, see if you can beat this time. I think I've given you all the strategies now. So someone go ahead and optimize this even further, but uh, I will go and award it. No one has awarded this map yet. Well, we will be the first and I will leave a comment. I thought I could write a long poem here, but what summarizes this map best is simply typing nice. You guys should check out this map too, link in the description. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Hope you have a nice day even, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye-bye, everyone.